Hey everybody, it's DJ Jer, and if you are watching this video, you either saw the presentation at Atlantic City, or you'd purchase some of the freedoms which we re which we recommended for you. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, if you have the program that we created for the Freedom Series, I'm going to show you exactly how to run it, how to run it, how to do everything, and exactly what the buttons will do for your sequences and for your fixtures. So I'm going to show you a little bit on Show Express and exactly how you're going to utilize your lights for the best possible scenarios. Okay, so what we have here is we have the Freedom RGBA PAR. We also have the Freedom RGBA color strip, and I just hooked them up through DMX cables just to make it easier. Uh, I don't have my transmitter with me. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what you need to address these fixtures for to make them work with the programs that you got. I'm going to go into Editor, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it all from scratch, where to start, and everything like everything like that. So we're going to go into the program, and actually I have the program up. Okay, so here's your tutorial on how to use the programs that were pre-created for your Freedom Series. What you want to do is you want to open up Show Express, open up the control board. And to figure out exactly what you need to address every fixture, you want to go into Editor. When you click on Editor, you're going to be able to see basically all of the channels for each of the fixtures. Now when you click on Group, right here in the tab, it's going to give you the Freedom PARs, and it's going to give you the Freedom Strips over here on the right side. When you click on Freedom PARs, this is going to give you the addresses for each individual fixture. So if you look down here in the bottom left, you can see it says channel 1 through 5. So you want to make sure your fixtures are set into a 5 channel figure configuration. And I'll zoom in on that here for you so you can see that. Okay, guess not. That's as far as that's going to go. But if you can see, this is going to this is going to tell you right here exactly which channels you're working with. So you've got channel 1 through 5. Your next one's going to be channel 6. So your second freedom par is going to be number 6 for the address. The next one's going to be 11, 16, 21, so on and so on. Now with your Freedom Strips, if you're planning on using a contrasting uh, type uh, scenario, then when you click on your Freedom Strips in your group, you'll be able to see the Freedom Strips start at 41, then goes to 46, 51, 56. So the beginning number of each one of those channels for each fixture, you want to make sure that your fixture is set for the addresses that are in the beginning of each one of those groups. If you have questions, again, feel free to contact me, jeremy at djjer.com. It's jeremy, J-E-R-E-M-Y, at djjer.com, and I'll be happy to walk you through it. So once you have that established, you can go ahead and close editor, and then what you want to do is you want to open up live. Now live's going to give you this screen. It's going to give you all of the palettes and everything that is pre-created for you. So here you have a blackout button, then you have a white, cool white, red, coral, so on and so on, to blue, ice, all the way to deep orange. Now when you click on these buttons, it's going to activate your lights. But the one thing you want to make sure is that over in the top right, right there, top right, you need to make sure that the DMX is green. If the DMX is not green, you're not going to get any type of activation for your, for your lights. Basically, that's telling that the DMX signal is reading from everything that you have going on in live. So if you do not activate that, none of your fixtures are going to work. So make sure you do that. Now, when you click on the fix or when you click on the button, it's going to activate the light and it's going to turn it green. Click on ice, and it's going to make it the ice blue. Cool white, red so on and so on. So again, all these sequences are already created for you. All you have to do is just make sure you open up live, um, make sure DMX is on. Now, here you have all your color palette. These are all the pre-created sequences that I've created for you. Get that off there. Um, these are all the things that I pre-created to make sure that you have some sequences already created. So you can go in and you can actually have a light show already ready for your events 
everything's ready to go. Again, you just have to address, and you just have to hook up all your wireless fixtures, um, and then use the, the DiFi to basically send the signals, and so on and so on. So, what the Pixel Dance is going to do, Pixel Dance is one of the built-in programs, and we created different steps and different levels within that. Now, you'll notice above the Pixel Dance button, there is an arrow with a bunch of little lines on it. What those lines are, those are pre-selected time, uh, not times, but pre-selected pre um, uh, paces that are that are already created. So when you click on Pixel Dance, it's going to give you this effect. Now when you move that lever, when you move that lever up here to the right, it's going to make him go faster. I'm going to move it over a little bit more to the right and you can kind of see how it picks up speed. A little bit more. And that's as fast as it'll go. As soon as you start moving that lever to the left, it's going to start slowing it down. So again, these are pre-created sequences. Your strips and your pars are going to be in the same style of sequence. Now you have to understand the pars and the strips actually have the same exact programming when it comes to the five channels. Pixel Dance 2, it's the same thing that you just saw, just a different style of sequencing. The Room Wave is basically going to give you a color wave all the way around your room. So if you have eight fixtures, it's set up for eight and actually 16. So what happens is the red, uh, the red will fade to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. And then basically, I can guarantee once you push the button, you're gonna understand. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's a really cool sequence that we created. Um, and basically it's gonna make your whole room kind of go in this wave sequence. Now the slow color fade, again, there's presets up here, there's presets that are already created, so you can slow and speed up the color speed of what you want the pace to be for the for the speed. So I'm gonna click the button, I'm gonna show you exactly what it's gonna look like. When you click the button, what's gonna happen is it starts bringing up the reds, and then it starts bringing in the other colors to mix, and basically creates a slow color fade. Now if I wanna speed it up, again, I just push to the right, and it'll speed up the fade itself. So it's, it's a very cool, uh, very cool effect, especially when you're doing your slow dances. You can make the whole room fade through slow colors. Um, it's a very elegant look. The um, sync color snap, basically, it's going to make your whole room go to the beat of the music with the same color. Um, again, this is one that we usually use, and it works great because it, it really creates energy through the entire room, and it gives it a nice professional look. Um, sound activated, basically you click that button and anytime it hits the beat, um, the lights are just going to kind of do its random thing. Now you have to understand, this is going to be a random because every fixture is going to be in different parts of the room and some of them are going to pick up different amounts of signal. So if you have a lot of bass in one area and not much in the other area, the one by the bass is going to be a lot more active, so keep that in mind. And then strobe, again there's presets on here. The other thing I want to show you is down on the bottom left, there is a little lightning bolt, and this little lightning bolt means all you have to do is hold that button down to activate and uh, to activate the strobe the strobe feature. So if you just click it, thinking it's going to stay down, it's not going to stay down. It's not going to stay. It's not going to stay on. So you actually have to hold it down. And if you notice, if you hold down sound active, nothing happens until you actually release it. So if if uh, you want to have that strobe and you want to have a part of the song that is a, is a perfect part for a strobe, then you can just hold the button whenever you want it to strobe. So it's going to give you this effect. So now I'm holding it, now I'm letting off. Now I'm holding it, now I'm letting off. So again, it gives you the opportunity to kind of control it as a strobe and not make people go sick because you left the, you left the strobe on the entire time. Again, you can move that slider to speed up and slow down the strobe effect. Um, and it's, it, it works just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the sequences and the programs that we pre-created for you. Uh, I know it helps our performances and it's going to enhance your lightscape at your performances. Um, thank you, Chauvet DJ, for coming out with great products. And thank you for allowing me to speak at Atlantic City. If you guys have questions, feel free to contact me, Jeremy, at DJJer.com. Again, it's Jeremy, J-E-R-E-M-Y, at DJJer.com. Thanks and enjoy your programs.